welcome back to my channel I thought I'd pop in this week and do a little voiceover because my last few videos I haven't really uh, had all that much to say I, I guess so I just wanted to say hello I hope you've been well I hope uh, that you have had a great February uh, and have lots of things to look forward to in March. Uh, here in Australia the start of March signals the start of autumn and in the northern hemisphere it's spring so <laughs> it's a, it's a topsy-turvy world isn't it? Um, it seems a bit mad given that I live in a city that's subtropical to be thinking that autumn is here. It's been 30, 31, 32 degrees. So, you know, not exactly cool. So when I wanted to decorate my pages this week it's more about the anticipation of autumn and the anticipation of that change of seasons which we do get here and of cooler weather and perhaps some finer weather um, yeah if you saw my video from last week you'd understand that I'm not a big fan of rain at the moment <sighs> I have to say though the garden oh the garden is looking magnificent <laughs> the garden loves the rain so I've got to get in there I've got to do a ton of pruning a ton of cleaning up a ton of oh remulching the garden beds that all washed away etc but I quite like that especially if it gets a bit cooler I, I really enjoy being in my garden and uh, now that we saw some of the snakes washing away <laughs> I, I think I'll enjoy it even more uh, so on this week's spread I'm popping in these sunflowers I don't want to get um, too focused on this but it's just an acknowledgement of ah, the difficult times that different places in our world face. Sometimes it's on your doorstep and sometimes it's on the other side of the world. But uh, there's certainly uh, the people of Ukraine are, are in my thoughts. So here I'm uh, using a couple of things uh, that I got in a happy mail this week uh, from Esther and she's down in Melbourne and she sent me that lovely card with the pigeon holding an autumn leaf and uh, this uh, sample of um, uh, I think it's uh, La Dolce Vita um, PET PET -E I guess you don't really need to say the tape on the end you know what I mean and so I picked out a few things from her mail that I really love well to be honest I loved her entire mail it was so beautiful I did a little uh, reel on my Instagram if you want to go and check it out I mean the attention to detail and the little touches were just so beautiful uh, so I just wanted to pick out a couple of things uh, from that lovely mail and include them in my page this week. I, I love this, um, oh gosh, why do I always do this to myself with the pronunciation? I will leave a, a um, description in the description box with what the paper is actually called 
but it is a Japanese uh, paper and I bought a big um, uh, like a sample selection with all different textures and colors and yeah it's just beautiful from the company that I shall not be naming but I shall write it in the description box so I don't have to say it and I love this paper because it has uh, sort of cottony strands in oranges and greens and yellows in it which uh, goes really nicely with my color theme for this spread uh, I also have cut out uh, this uh, March die cut um, it's from a set which has all the months in it uh, unfortunately March doesn't actually cut out all that well though the other month that I've um, cut out have seemed to cut out okay but yeah so it's a little bit tricky and uh, these uh, this uh, square or stamped paper and this uh, stamp which is a Russian stamp and that's a deliberate choice um, with a bear a menacing bear no we said we weren't gonna do that um, that's also from my happy mail and now I'm adding in these sprays of autumn shaded leaves which I'm faffing around a bit with but uh, just like some overhanging foliage up in the corner up here and that's a Loi design um, tape that's in this is the, the washi one with a, a peel off backing paper and uh, yeah I really like this tape it, it's um not only does it have these leaves in a in shades of um, brown and goldeny brown it has it in greens as well and also it has um, flowers on it so you get a really nice variety of um, things that you can cut out to use and they have a beautiful finish on them I've, I've actually ordered uh, some more sample loops of these uh, Loi design tapes um, I'm not sure when they're gonna arrive they're coming from Germany from a, an Etsy shop they're <coughs> called happy vintage crafter which is uh, operated by Birgit and uh, yeah so when I when I get those I'll, I'll do a little um, unboxing and, and share them I'm uh, trying to treat myself each month this year with uh, some new supplies but I'm trying to purchase them from small um, like like Etsy shop owners and local businesses in Australia um, yeah I have a little Etsy shop myself and I really value the support I get uh, it's just an Australian based one but uh, yeah I really appreciate all the support I get and these are my complete pages I'm just making a couple of little notes to myself um, about uh, I guess the inspiration behind the choices on this page and that's in uh, the zebra sarasa vintage pen in a sort of a, it's sort of a mustardy yellow color it's quite unusual I, I like it and yeah so this is this is it for this week which transition between February to March between summer to autumn and 
Yeah, so thanks thanks for um, tuning in and watching my videos. Thank you for everyone who started to um, um, who've stayed and subscribed to my channel. Um, it's nice to have an idea that there are um, someone listening to you out there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, look after yourselves till next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.